what is up guys today i'm going to be showing you how to create a logo in uh, photoshop cc 2017 so uh so let's get into it uh, so first thing you want to do is that you want to set this to uh let's say uh 500 uh pixels make sure it's pixels not inches by 500 change uh, the transparent background to white bam and uh, we're just gonna click create all right there we go guys all right so first thing we want to do is i uh, create a shape so we're gonna go right here to the rectangle tool and long click then we're gonna uh, get the polygon tool right here bam all right so what i'm gonna do is i uh, change the size to six and uh, we're gonna change the fill to white yeah, i think this is white and uh, the stroke we're gonna put it on uh nothing all right so the next thing we want to do is uh, draw our polygon so we're just gonna click and drag bam all right so uh let's click this so now we can't see the polygon that's because it has a white background and um and also the background has a white background so we're gonna, just gonna change the color of the polygon so we're gonna go back to this and we're gonna change this to uh to this uh purple color right here bam all right it's like that now we can see it so i'm just gonna drag it right here so uh, as you can see it's in it's gonna be in the middle right now so what i'm gonna do is uh get a ruler and i'm gonna try to find the middle it's gonna be right here and then i'm just gonna uh all right and i'm gonna click uh, Control t and hold shift and i uh, rotate this All right, just until it's like, oh, you don't have to hold shift. You can just rotate. Bam, just like that. And once you're done, just click enter. And I'm going to take this away. Bam, there you go. Now we have our our own um, our own background. So the next thing we want to do is add an image behind the polygon so that it looks nice. So I'm just going to do a file uh, place. Where is it at? And that's going to be on my desktop. It's going to be this one right here. It's kind of like a technology uh, background thing. All right, as you can see, it's really big. So I'm just gonna resize it by holding shift and dragging the corners inside. And just like that, click enter. And I'm gonna try to put this over this. So I'm gonna do control T just to make it a little big so that it covers the whole polygon. All right, like that. And I'm gonna drag it down a little bit, bam. So I'm going to drag uh, the layer down uh, the polygon, below the polygon, and just like that. So we're going to click on the polygon and right click and click rasterize layer. And we're going to do the same for this one. All right. So basically what we're going to do now is that we're going to um, lower the opacity of, uh, of the polygon. So right here where it says opacity, you're just going to click and drag until you see uh, the logo, until you see the, um, the image a little bit. So I'm gonna put this at 85. All right, just like that. So it's gonna work out at 85. No, let's put it at 90, not 85. You can still see it on 90. So press enter. There you go. And now we're gonna merge uh, these two layers, the polygon and the image. So just uh, right click on the polygon and click merge down. Bam, there you go. So I'm gonna rename this to uh, Polygon. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is um, we're gonna use uh, the uh, the magic wand to just select it and click inside the Polygon. Bam, just like that. All right, so once you do this, you're gonna go to Select and you're gonna go to Inverse. And you're gonna click Delete on your keyboard. Bam, and it's gonna delete um, the extra image. All right, so we're going to go to select, deselect. All right, there you go. So now you can kind of like see uh, the background in the back. All right, so the next thing we want to do is uh, is uh, duplicate uh, the polygon. So I'm going to right click and uh, duplicate layer and click OK. Bam, just like that. And then we're going to select this layer right here and uh, click this. And then we're going to make this a dark purple. It really... So we're going to make this a really dark color. So we're going to go this way and we're going to select the paint bucket tool and we're going to 
put it on this. All right, just like that. So the next thing we wanna do is I get the rulers and you're gonna place it right in the middle right there. Bam. All right, you're gonna get the marquee tool right here, bam. And you're just gonna select one side. You can select the right or left side. All right, just like that. And once you do this, you're just gonna press uh, delete on your keyboard. Bam, there you go. All right, and then we're gonna deselect, uh, take the ruler away. All right, so once this is done, we're gonna merge uh, these two layers here. Um, and I'll click merge down. All right, so these are merged now. And uh, the next thing we wanted to do is uh, is uh, the text. So we're gonna um, select the text tool. So basically you can choose um, any type of text you want, or you can go ahead and download uh, some cool text, but I'm gonna be using American Captain. I'm gonna be using American Captain. And uh, basically you change uh, the font size to anything you want. Um, uh, 35 is good. And I'll uh, change the color to, um, for now let's change it to white. Okay, so I'm gonna put uh, a D on this. And there we go. And basically I'm gonna um, press uh, Control T to scale it. I'm gonna hold Shift and I'm gonna scale it. All right, just like that, click Enter. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is I click the polygon and uh, do Control A. Click uh, this second one to align it. Bam, and click this one uh, to align horizontally. All right, there you go. And then we're gonna do the same for, for, for the text. We're gonna do this one and this one. All right, just like that. Bam, that works. And now we have uh, a D, right? So we're gonna duplicate this layer, uh, the text layer. So duplicate, click OK. We're gonna do the same thing we did with uh, with the polygon. So the top one, basically what you wanna do is um, click this and we're gonna get like kinda like a gray color. Right there, bam. And we're gonna get the paint bucket too and we're gonna put it on the layer. Yeah, make sure you rasterize the layer first. Okay. You do it to both of them. And I'm gonna click on this, bam, there you go. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. So I'm just gonna select uh, the copy and I'm gonna select the marquee tool and I'm gonna, um, and I'm gonna make sure everything is deselected by uh, clicking select, deselect. And I'm gonna select uh, the left side of the rectangle right here. Just try to find the middle right now. You can use the rulers too if you can. Then I'm just gonna press delete. Bam, there you go. I'm gonna click select. Deselect. All right, you can see this is what it looks like right now. All right, so uh, so this looks good. So the next thing we want to do is um combine these two layers. So we're gonna merge the layer. So merge down. So we're gonna create a new layer, and uh, we're gonna name it Shadow. Click Enter. So we're just gonna um get uh, the pen to where is it at? Uh, do, 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 do. right here. there. You go. Yeah, make sure you have the pen to. And basically we're gonna draw the shadow right now. So you kinda like kinda like have to look at like how it's going to uh, to look. So basically I'm gonna go from this corner and I'm gonna go to that corner and I'm gonna go down like that. So let me zoom in a bit. All right, like that. And I'm gonna click right on this corner right here. And I'm gonna go all the way to this corner. And I'm gonna come all the way down and I'm gonna go right here. And I'll come right here. This this uh this part is optional. Like you can do this any way you want. So the next part is uh, the selection. You're just gonna click where it says uh, make selection right here. Bam. And click okay. And it's gonna make a selection. Uh next thing you wanna do is um change the color here to black. And we're gonna use the bucket to to the paint bucket to to uh to change this to black. There you go. And make sure this is below the the uh, the text text layer. Bam, just like that. I'm gonna click uh, select, deselect. All right. So now we're gonna go back to the polygon. So select the polygon and make sure you go inside uh, this uh, this little picture thingy and uh, right click 
and I click select pixels, right? It's gonna be the uh, second option or third option. It's gonna select uh, the polygon. All right, then you're gonna click on the shadow and then you're gonna uh, press delete. So it's gonna delete the extra the extra shadow. So we're gonna click select, deselect. Uh, so everything is deselected now. Now we're gonna go into the shadow layer and we're gonna turn down the opacity. Just try to turn it down to like um a size you think is um is okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn mine down to about um uh forty. There you go. All right, so make sure you have uh, the deselected and we're gonna go to uh, levels right now. Bam, it's gonna be this this little thing with the line and we're gonna drag it down a bit just to turn down the darkness, just to uh, to turn down the light and we're gonna drag the top for just a little bit, just like that and close it. And we're gonna go to color balance. All right, so basically you're gonna find um, a shade you want so this is good for me and the next thing we're gonna go to um uh, to hue and saturation and then again you can also kind of like mess with the settings yeah until you find uh, what you want so you can just uh, mess with these uh, settings mess with the um the color balance and the hue saturation just to come up with a shade you like and uh, so the next thing you're gonna do is uh, take out this white background because you're not going to need the white background for your logo. So we're going to go all the way down and uh, just turn off the background layer. Or you can just, you can even delete it if you don't want it there. But you can just turn it off, which is really easy to do. So to export it, you're going to have to go to file and uh, go to export and export as. Uh, so just make sure you have um, all your settings and uh, make sure it's a PNG if it has a transparent background. And um, make sure your width and height are correct. If the scale is at 100%, and uh, the canvas is the same uh, length as the image size. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. And you're just gonna click export all. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to drop a like for this video. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And I'm out, peace.